up guys it is thursday may 6th it is 5 45 p.m we just got to north carolina i'm showing trail this weekend it's just me and my dad um, my mom and cousin stayed at home but me and my dad are gonna go get some food and then i show tomorrow saturday and sunday let's go It is 6.53 a.m. and we are ready to go this morning. I have a jumper trip, I think, on Apple, just practice, and then I'm just lusting on Chino. It's gonna be a chill day. It's gonna be a good one. I think it's supposed to rain, so rain jacket always.
Okay guys, I decided I'm going to do a voiceover of my U-Set round. This is the second ever U-Set I've done on Apple and we placed fifth in this one. So I figured I kind of explain what I'm doing because I don't think I've actually done a voiceover for a U-Set round before um, as I haven't really done many. So I'm going to talk about it today. So the first jump was a oxer off the left lead and I wanted to make sure I had something to ride up to. Because you sets are supposed to be what you do before like Grand Prix and stuff, they want to see you have pace and make it look fluid rather than slow. So I wanted to ride up and you can see I'm already looking over the jump to the left because I knew I wanted to go just around this decoration to find something else to ride up to, to this vertical. Then I just stayed just around the jumps that you can see to get straight to this outside line because it comes up, comes up really quickly off the rail and I wanted to make sure that I didn't run out of space or not have enough space so that's what we did and then you can see me carry my pace through this area of the course because there was nothing here and I jumped the oxer next to the open water because I haven't jumped apple over open water yet and I didn't want to do that at didn't want to do that at the show for the first time then you'll see me come through here and ride up into this combination because I either saw the ride up or a pull to a chip and you don't want to chip into a combination because you most likely won't get out and then I just carried my pace up to this Liverpool which you'll see and kept the right bend for this line because on the right lead he tends to get up the lines quicker and I didn't want to run out of room and then you'll just see me make a nice little rollback to this blue line which also comes up really quickly off the rail even though it might not look like it and just held my body through here and then after this third jump, you'll see me looking to the left because I decided I wanted to do the leap out to this last jump. So I knew I needed to keep going immediately to make sure it looks nice. 